नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग द एक्टिव मॉनसून कंडीशंस ओवर सेंट्रल एंड वेस्ट इंडिया आर लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फोर फाइव डेज इन एसोसिएशन विद द लो प्रेशर एरिया ओवर नॉर्थ छत्तीसगढ़ एंड नेबरहुड and if we look into the monsoon advancement during uh, past 24 hours then the monsoon has uh, covered the remaining parts of gujarat and some more parts of rajasthan and today the northern limit of uh, southwest monsoon is passing from jodhpur to seeker to uh, narnol of haryana and then firozpur of punjab and during next 48 hours the southwest monsoon is likely to cover remaining parts of uh, Punjab and Haryana as we can see here the this white patch over Punjab and Haryana is likely to be covered during next 48 hours and also some more parts of uh, uh, Rajasthan uh, may be covered during next 48 hours. So uh, now uh, if we look into synoptic system, so we have a low pressure area over North Chhattisgarh and Neverwood and the east-west trough is uh, uh, consistently passing from northwest Rajasthan to the northeast Bay of Bengal since last uh, four or five days. And uh, in fact, this trough and this uh, 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 cyclonic circulation, which later became a low pressure area, has, uh, has caused the active monsoon conditions over northwest India and central India. And under the influence of this, as we can see, uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall has occurred over this entire uh, East India and Central India belt, right from uh, uh, parts of uh, West Bengal and parts of Southern Jharkhand to uh, Gujarat region. And also uh, one station over uh, Chhattisgarh has reported extremely heavy rainfall, more than 20 centimeter rainfall. So if we look into the uh, upcoming uh, heavy rainfall warning, then uh, as this low pressure area is today over North Chhattisgarh and Neverwood and is likely to move across uh, North uh, Madhya Pradesh during next two, three days. So this zone of uh, uh, heavy, heavy to very heavy rainfall would be this zone of uh, uh, area of uh, Southern Madhya Pradesh, uh, Gujarat region and northern parts of Maharashtra during next uh, three to four days. So here as we can see that today uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall is uh, likely over uh, uh, parts of uh, southern Ch uh, South Chhattisgarh, sa southern parts of Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha, no uh, northern parts of Madhya Maharashtra and Konkan and also uh, uh, eastern parts of Gujarat region may receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall and over uh, uh, southern parts of East MP and Vidarbha even extremely heavy uh, rainfall more than 20 centimeter rainfall may realize and tomorrow as this system moves west north westward so this uh, East India part would become uh, kind of uh, uh, free from the heavy rainfall warning and uh, we would see the uh, this area of uh, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat region and northern parts of Maharashtra concentrating into the uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall region with the uh, extremely heavy falls likelihood over Gujarat region uh, by tomorrow on 28th of June and again on 29th of June this uh, again this region of uh, southern parts of East Rajasthan, southern parts of uh, western parts of Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat region and northern parts of Maharashtra would uh, be the most probable area for heavy to very heavy rainfall and uh, the, the same region would continue uh, be uh, would continue to remain the uh, region of uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall on uh, 30th of june as well and on 1st of july as we can see as this uh, low pressure area and its uh, associated cyclonic circulation become weaker so the uh, intensity of the rainfall would reduce to isolated heavy rainfall over east rajasthan west Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. Although over the western parts of uh, 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 western parts of coast uh, coastal India, uh, along the Konkan and Goa and uh, coastal Karnataka and Kerala, today the heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, uh, scenario is likely. And uh, tomorrow again the Konkan and Goa would uh, uh, continue to uh, receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall tomorrow, day after tomorrow, and uh, after that day also. So all five day Konkan would continue to receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall. 
बट द कोस्टल ऑफ कर्नाटका वो इज लाइकली टू रिसीव आइसोलेटेड हैवी रेनफॉल ऑन टुडे एंड देन ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ जून थर्टी जून एंड देन फर्स्ट जुलाई एंड केरला इज लाइकली टू रिसीव हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल टुडे एंड देन ऑन थर्टी जून एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई नाउ इफ यू कम ओवर टू नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया सो नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया वुड कंटिन्यू टू रिसीव scatter to fairly widespread light to light to moderate rainfall and uh, west up may receive isolated heavy rainfall today and tomorrow and thereafter uh, this uh, west and east both up may receive uh, isolated heavy rainfall on 29th june 30th june and 1st of july as far as uh, uttarakhand and himachal pradesh are concerned so next 3 uh, to 4 days they are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall with isolated heavy to very heavy rain fall uh, likelihood over uttarakhand and uh, over uttarakhand on 28th of june and on 30th of june as far as northeast india is concerned so fairly widespread to widespread light to moderate rainfall with isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall over uh, assam and meghalaya and nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura and also arunachal pradesh is likely during next 5 days so that's all for today tomorrow we'll again meet with delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next 5 days Thank you and goodbye.